Devri Hayamim Shani, two, chroni two Chronicles 21. Now Yahushaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Yahram, his son, reigned in his stead. And he had brethren, the sons of Yahushaphat, Azar Yahu and Yahi El, and Zakar Yahu and Arzar Yahu and Mikael and Shaphat Yahu. All these were the sons of Yahushaphat, king of Yashar El. And their father gave them great gifts of silver and of gold and of precious things with fenced cities in Yahuda. But Eth, the kingdom gave he to Yahoram because he was the firstborn. Now when Yahoram was risen up to the kingdom of his father, he strengthened himself and slew eth all his brethren with the sword, and diverse also of the princes of Yashadael. Yahoram was thirty and two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Yerushalayim. And he walked in the way of the kings of Yashadael, like as did the house of Achav, for he had the daughter of Achav as his woman, And he wrought that which was evil in the eyes of Yahuwah. Howbeit Yahuwah would not destroy at the house of David, because of the covenant that he had cut with David, and as he promised to give a light to him and to his sons forever. In his days the Edomim revolted from under the dominion of Yahudah, and made themselves a king. Then Yahuram went forth with his princes and all his chariots with him, and he rose up by night and smote at the Edomim, which compassed him in, and at the captains of the chariots. So the, so the Edomim revolted from under the hand of Yahudah unto this day. The same time also did Livna revolt from under his hand, because he had forsaken at Yahuwah el Hai of his fathers. Moreover, he made high places in the mountains of Yahudah, and caused at the inhabitants of Yerushalayim to commit fornication, and compelled at Yahudah thereto. And there came a writing to him from Eliyahu, the prophet, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of David, your father, because you have not walked in the ways of Yehoshaphat, your father, nor in the ways of Acha, king of Yehudah, but have walked in the way of the kings of Yashadael, and have made at Yehudah and at the inhabitants of Yerushalayim to go a whoring, like to the whoredoms of the house of Achav, and also have slain your brethren of your father's house, which were better than yourself. Behold, with a great plague will Yahweh smite your people and your children and your women and all your goods. And you shall have great sickness by disease of your bowels until your bowels fall out by reason of the sickness day by day. Moreover, Yahuwah stirred up against Yahuram at the Ruach of the Pelashtim and of the Aravim that were near the Kushim. And they came up into Yahudah and broke into it and carried away at all the substance that was found in the king's house and his sons also and his women, so that there was never a son left him save Yahu Achaz, the youngest of his sons. And after all this, Yahuwah smote him in his bowels with an incurable disease. And it came to pass, 
that in process of time, after the end of two years, his bowels fell out by reason of his sickness. So he died of sore diseases, and his people made no burning for him like the burning of his fathers. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned in Yerushalayim eight years, and departed without being desired. Howbeit they buried him in the city of David, but not in the sepulchres of the kings.